Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series. My name is Carl Pauline and today I'm going to take you into my very own journal to show you how I use it to be, be more productive but more importantly how to be more focused on what I want out of the day. It's just this, when you know what you want from the day, what the objective tasks are that you really want to get completed, you will start the day with so much focus, so much energy to get it done. And you know, those days build up over time to amazing things. And I really want to help you to be motivated to do this. Now you don't have to use day one, which is the journal that I use. You can do this in OneNote, Apple Notes, you can even do it in Evernote and any other notes app really. Day one is designed for this purpose, but as I say, you can do this with any notes app. But I'm going to take you into day one now, and I'm going to show you how I use my journal and when I write it to help me focus in on what's important today. Okay, now before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on becoming more productive and better with your time management, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into day one now and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you how I have my day one set up and how I use it to be more productive each day. Now, I have a number of of journals. I have my exercise journal and my regular daily journal. I also have a memorabilia one which is one where I just actually I can show you that is where I just dump ideas. So for example on the 3rd of June we had uh, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. So I took the official portrait and put that into my memorabilia. Uh, 28th of May was the birthday of Ian Fleming, my writing hero, and I came across this image and I thought, wow, that's a great image. Now, this is not an image that I took. It wasn't something that I painted, but I just love this image. It's got all the James Bonds there. It's got the latest, well, now, well, recent latest, and of course, Ian Fleming with his typewriter, the Golden Gun, and the Aston Martin DB5. Uh, this one here was one of my fa my rugby league team that I've been supporting since I was probably born because it's a family thing. And I put in an image from the team that I just vividly remember going to see them every Friday night. And Ellery Hanley, the captain at the time there, he's always been my rugby hero. I just think he was one of the most brilliant players ever and this picture came up in Facebook so I collected the picture and put it in there. Um, this is a thumbnail if you've been following my channel this was a thumbnail my little puppy uh, first time he was on my YouTube channel and then I collect quotes as well so here's one from Joseph McClendon who I call my teacher. I've also got as I say another one of Ellery Hanley just I, he's just my hero I'm has been my hero ever since even though he played for the opposing team most of his rugby career he did come to my team later in his career but oh he is still my hero and I, so I collect all sorts of things here from last year Prince Philip standing on the back of a Range Rover that just it just blew me away I just love that Land Rover Defender I love Land Rovers by the way uh, Ian Fleming uh, J sorry uh, Daniel Craig so this is where I keep all my and all my like memorabilia. Here's another one here from one of my athletic heroes, a guy called Daley Thompson. And this to me was always the iconic picture of Daley Thompson where his competitors are just absolutely worn out, but he's the last man standing. I just love everything about this picture. And I, I, did, I came across it and I thought, I've got to have that in my memorabilia uh, journal. So that's my first journal. This is one that I just dump things. As you can see, it's not a regular thing. I have added two things that, uh, in this month. I added a couple of th three things last month. So I just add things as and when they pop up when I see them. So my main journal is here. This is my daily journal. Now, what I do is I have a template. Now, I'm going to show you the template that I have. So if I hit plus, and it's going to bring up my daily template. And basically, I will start off with a daily headline. 
And then something new, something that I've recently changed, which is this used to hear, used to say, what are my objectives for today? But that was too linear, if you like. It was too restrictive. What I wanted was something a little bigger because this is what I want out of today. Now, to be fair, today is really quite simple. I want to get these videos recorded and I want to go out for a run later this afternoon. If I can do those two things, I will be very happy. So this is my, essentially, this is my head. This is what I want to do. Up here, I'm going to show you in a minute what I do with that. Then underneath, I put my morning routines. Now, my morning routines haven't changed for about three years. It's still the same order, which is make coffee, drink my lemon water, do stretches and priming. Now, priming is something I got from Tony Robbins. It's not exactly how Tony Robbins does it. What it basically means is as I'm stretching, as I'm doing my shoulder stretches and my Achilles tendon stretches, what I'm actually doing is I'm thinking about what do I want out of the day, which is why I write this here. I'm thinking about successfully accomplishing whatever it is I want out of the day. And once I finish that, I sit down with my coffee and I write this journal. I write it always in the morning. And then once my journal's written, I check my email. And then I do my evening routines. And that's just basically taking supplements, which is just uh, multivitamin. Uh, I do make sure that I've done my daily planning and I do 30 minutes of learning. And that could be reading or it could be watching a YouTube video, depending on how I'm feeling. And although I do have an exercise journal, which is the journal where I actually put down exactly what I've done in terms of sets, what exercise I did, how far I ran and stuff like that. I do actually put a summary, like I said, I did a 10K run plus my core exercises. I just add it in here at the bottom. Now, the thing I should point out is up to this point here, I do this all in the morning. This bit, I do the next day. So when I come to my next day, I will then just open this up and I will go into it and I will just check it off to say that I did it. I usually actually add the exercise as well at the same time. So what does this look like? So that's my template. Now, what does this look like in, in say, on a regular day? So I don't want to show you a real one. So I'm going to show you one that I actually made up. Now, I added this one this morning just to show you what I kind of things I write. So here, it rained heavily last night because it did. And that's not something I write. Don't always write about the weather unless it's re something that's remarkable. But it is. The rainy season has arrived in Korea, which means we're now going to get a couple of weeks of pretty much rain every day. And then we're going to get hot, humid weather. Ugh. Um, and unfortunately for me, it's my end of quarter break next week and it just looks like it's going to be rain all week. So fair enough. Now, here's another one where I do. If I actually want to write something in my journal about exercise, I will use a hashtag. So here I've got a hashtag for exercise so that I have a way of being able to filter out all the all the daily journals that I write related to exercise. All you have to do is put a hashtag and then the idea. Then your whatever thing you want to track. I also put a hashtag for my ideas. Now this is really quite simple because when I'm writing my journal I don't want to stop. If I have an idea uh, I don't want to stop and then move off into my notes app to try and collect the idea for development later. What I prefer to do is just keep writing in my journal. But what I can do is just add that tag ideas, which then means if I come back to it later, I can actually just come and find all my ideas. And so this is the sort of stuff that I'll write. It's like did a great resistance band session yesterday, felt a little sore in the chest this morning, signs that it was a worthwhile session too. Last night I had an idea to do. So I write it like I and I, I make it really personal. It's almost like I was talking to somebody. And as I say, I've got things down here. What do I want out of today? So get my uh, videos recorded and go for at least a 6k run. So that's in. I've done my morning coffee. I needed that. I drink my lemon water every morning. I've done my stretches. I'm writing my journal now. So I know. And then I'm going to check my email. And then at the end of the day, as I say, the next day, I'm going to come back and just make sure I do that. Check those off to say, yep, they are done. And that's it. That's how I'm using my journal. And that's how it really helps me to get focused on the day. The key is right here. What do I want out of the day? And 
you know that is going to really help me to be able to go for the get the things that I really want to do it just really focuses my mind on what I want out of the day now I don't make it big I, I mean sometimes I might write a sentence but it's usually only two or three maybe one or two things that I want to get out of the day and that's it that's all I'm going to write and I have a checkbox there so the next day if I want I can just check it off and say yes I did it so that's it that's what I really wanted to show you because I know that a lot of people have this resistance to writing a journal because they don't really know what to write well here's an example of what you can write and I just think it's a really good way of getting yourself motivated for the day particularly when you do it first thing in the morning you can finish it off later in the night in the evening if you wish and there are days where I have I just want to dump my brain at the end of the day and then this is where I'll go and as I say I've got a way of tracking ideas I don't need to open up multiple different apps I can just put them in here this is my ideas sometimes I'll write a lot sometimes I don't write a lot it just depends on you know how I'm feeling that day so there you go that's what I wanted to do I wanted to show you how your journal can really help you with your productivity by showing you my real journal this particular one here is a bit of a um, it's just a uh, what do we call it yes this one here is a sample um, but um, you know I will write pretty much anything and that's a probably going to be the title tomorrow actually because I know that the rainy season is coming today so there you go well thank you very much for watching this video and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week hello thank you very much for watching my videos now I have something exciting to tell you about recently I have developed a brand new time management system it's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century the world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired, or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.